The Tulip Revolution or First Kyrgyz Revolution led to President of Kyrgyzstan, Askar Akhaev's fall from power. The revolution began after parliamentary elections on February 27 and March 13, 2005. The revolutionaries alleged corruption and authoritarianism by Akhaev, his family and supporters. Akhaev fled to Kazakhstan and then to Russia. On April 4, 2005, at the Kyrgyz embassy in Moscow, Akhaev signed his resignation statement in the presence of a Kyrgyz parliamentary delegation. The resignation was ratified by the Kyrgyz interim parliament on April 11, 2005. Origins In the early stages of the revolution, the media variously referred to the unrest as the Pink, Lemon, Silk, or Daffodil Revolution. It was Akhaev himself who coined the term Tulip Revolution. In a speech of the time, he warned that no such color revolution should happen in Kyrgyzstan. Using a color or floral term evoked similarity with the nonviolent Rose Revolution in Georgia, the Orange Revolution in Ukraine, 2004, the Czechoslovak Velvet Revolution, 1989, and the Portuguese Carnation Revolution, 1974. Givi Targamadze a former member of the Liberty Institute of Georgia and the chair of Georgian Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Security, consulted Ukrainian opposition leaders on the technique of nonviolent struggle. He later advised leaders of the Kyrgyz opposition during the Tulip Revolution. Post-election violence pro-AKF candidates performed well at the February 27, 2005 parliamentary election. However, the result was criticized by foreign observers. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, was critical of the Kyrgyzstan government. Protests began, especially in the western and southern cities including Jalalabad, Osh, and Uzgen. On March 3, 2005, a bomb exploded in opposition leader Rosa Otunbaeva's apartment. The AKF government denied responsibility. On March 10, 2005, the People's Movement of Kyrgyzstan leader, Kermanbek Bakiyev, joined protesters outside the parliament building in Bishkek. Bakiyev and 22 opposition parliamentarians issued a symbolic vote of no confidence in the Akayev administration. On March 19, 2005, 3,000 people in Bishkek and 50,000 in Jalalabad joined public protests. On March 20, when protesters occupied government buildings, the Kyrgyz government deployed Interior Ministry troops in Jalalabad and Ush. On March 20, 2005, protesters took control of all the large cities in the southern part of the nation and demanded Akhaev's resignation. The Kal Kal Renaissance and Shining of the Good Youth Movement was active in the protests. On March 22, 2005, Akhaev refused to negotiate with protesters. Ten of 71 parliamentarians sided with the protesters. Potential leaders Although the opposition claimed significant gains in control of the country, it suffered internal division and lacked an obvious leader. This is in contrast to the Ukrainian and Georgian revolutionary forces which demonstrated united fronts against the state. Rosa Otunbaeva was a potential leader of the Kyrgyz opposition. In 1981, she was the Communist Party of Kyrgyzstan's second secretary of the Lenin Reykim, District Council. Leading up to 2005, Otunbaeva's political beliefs had slowly westernized. Following the 2005 revolution, Otunbaeva served in the interim government as acting foreign minister and ambassador to the United States and the United Kingdom. Kerman Bakbakiyev was another potential leader. In 2002, Bakiyev had resigned from his position of Prime Minister of Kyrgyzstan after police shot and killed five peaceful demonstrators in the southern town of Aski. Anvar Artikov was a previous governor of Ush. He had the support of the Kuril Tai, a traditional Mongol and Turkic opposition council. Artikov said, We will keep this authority, parallel administration, until all of our demands and problems are resolved. We are an interim power. We can talk about the fulfillment of our tasks when the current government has been replaced by a government that is trusted by the nation.
The opposition was at its most united at the Jalalabad protest on March 21, 2005. Otunbayeva said, Policemen, including high-ranking officers, took off their uniforms, changed into civilian clothes and joined our ranks. So we have substantial support. On March 22, 2005, the opposition leaders met in Bishkek and formed an interim government. The Kyrgyzstan Supreme Court ruled that that previous parliament was the legitimate and rightful ruling body, but then on March 24, 2005, it recognized the interim government. Bakiyev was appointed acting prime minister and new elections were planned for July, 2005. Regime change after protests on March 19 and 20, 2005. Akayev ordered the Central Election Committee and the Kyrgyzstan Supreme Court to investigate claims of election fraud put forward by the opposition. Akayev asked these bodies to pay particular attention to those districts where election results provoked extreme public reaction and tell people openly who is right and who is wrong. On March 22, Akayev dismissed Bakir and Suaban Bakov, the Minister for the Interior, and Mike Tybek Abdeldayev the general prosecutor. On March 23, 2005, Akayev deployed riot police and 30 people were arrested. The Uzbekistan Foreign Ministry representative stated, the people of Uzbekistan, which is a close neighbor of Kyrgyzstan, are concerned about the events happening in Kyrgyzstan, especially in its southern regions. On March 24, 2005, Akayev fled with his family. He went first to Kazakhstan and then to Russia where the Russian president, Vladimir Putin offered him exile. On April 3, 2005, Akayev gave his resignation. It was accepted by the interim administration on April 11, 2005. When Akayev fled, Prime Minister Nikolai Tanayev resigned. The opposition took control of key state services such as the television broadcaster. Police melted away or joined the protesters. Imprisoned opposition leaders, including Felix Kulov, were released. The Kyrgyzstan Supreme Court declared the election results invalid. Kerman Bakbakiyev was made acting prime minister and acting president by the interim administration. He named an interim cabinet. Mobs were looting stores and automatic teller machines in Bishkek and buildings were set on fire. Three people had died in the unrest. Bakiyev appointed Felix Kulov acting minister for the interior. Kulov appeared on television and appealed for calm. On March 26, 2005, armed supporters of Akayev made an abortive attempt to enter Bishkek under Kanesh Dushabayev and Tamir Bakukmadaliev. On March 29, Ukmadaliev announced he would participate in upcoming elections. By March 28, 2005 a gradual political stabilization had occurred. The interim administration announced presidential elections for July 10, 2005. However, media entities accused Bakiyev of lack of transparency, failure to restore order and discrimination against Russian minorities. The appointment of Adakin Mata Umarov to the fourth deputy prime minister position was unpopular because it was seen, since he was a presidential candidate, as a conflict of interest. Bakiyev was also criticized for re-employing some of Akiyev's cabinet in the interim government. On May 13, 2005, Bakiyev and Kulov united to contest the July 10, 2005 presidential election. The agreement was that if Bakiyev retained the presidency, Kulov would be made prime minister. The alliance lasted until January 2007. It united the northern and southern parts of the nation, made the election of other candidates more difficult, and helped to stabilize Uzbekistan. Problems for the interim government Land rights The interim government was faced with the challenge of peasant land rights claims in Bishkek. Police had been unable to stop forced seizures of land by armed peasants. In a related matter, Yusin Kuude Burjanov, a leader of Bishkek civilian patrols, was murdered. Alleged Akayev corruption On March 24, 2005, Akayev's diaries were produced as evidence of corruption. A commission of citizens, 
public servants, bankers and non-government organization representatives was empaneled to investigate corruption by the Akayev administration. On April 21, 2005, the Commission published the details of 42 enterprises controlled by the Akayev family during Akayev's presidency. The interim government also alleged that through violence and arrests, Akayev had disrupted peaceful political protest against his administration. It was alleged that on March 24, 2005, Akayev's men, dressed in civilian clothing, had assaulted protesters. Andy Jane refugees on May 13, 2005, a massacre occurred in Andijan, Uzbekistan, when government security agents fired shots into gathered protesters. Up to 6,000 Uzbek refugees entered Kyrgyzstan. Refugees were unable to return to Uzbekistan due to harsh Uzbek government actions. Initially, Bakayev supported the Uzbek government's stance despite calls for compassion from human rights activists. Later, with assistance from the international community, the Kyrgyz interim administration gave legal status to anti Jain refugees. International NGOs were able to provide shelter, food, water, and other necessities to the refugees. On June 9, 2005, however, four Uzbekistan refugees were returned to their homeland. Kulov said these four were accused or guilty of rape or murder and therefore deported. Akayev Legal Action Akayev took legal action against the chair of the Bakayev Anti-Corruption Commission. He also sued a Kyrgyz newspaper journalist for defamation, on the grounds that the accusations of corruption made against him were inaccurate. Burman Akayeva, Akayev's daughter, took legal action against the Kyrgyzstan Central Election Commission for defamation and for preventing her election to parliament. Some of Akhev's personal possessions which had been seized in the revolution were returned to him. Pre-election unrest on June 10, 2005, the parliamentarian, Hirkalbak Surabadiyev was shot dead in Bishkek. He may have been involved with the attacks on anti-Akhev protesters on March 24, 2005. On June 11, 2005, two government security guards were beaten and coerced to give information about Bakayev's and Deputy Prime Minister Daniyar Yusnov's travel itineraries. On June 13, 2005, six people were injured in violence between protesters and parliamentary security agents in Osh. In this incident, security agents had opened fire on protesters congregating outside the Alley Hotel. The parliamentarian, Bayamin Erkinbayev was implicated in the violence and accused of taking illegal ownership of state property. On oh, June 17, 2005, protesters gathered in Bishkek in support of Yuramat Mariktabasov, an old ally of Akhev. He had previously expressed an intent to be a presidential candidate but was denied the right to register because of his dual citizenship. Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan. Given that Bariktabasov was not well known, the uprising was unusual when he might have addressed the issue by legal means. Some protesters admitted they had been paid to attend. New elections on July 10, 2005, the promised elections took place. Bakayev won 90% of the vote and the following day was made president. Kulov was appointed prime minister. He won 88.7% of the vote while his opponent won 4%. The conduct of the election was praised by Western observers but some irregularities were also noted. In the months after the election, Bayam and Erkin Bayev and Rot Bexanet Bayev were killed. Tinik Bekuk Mat Bayev died during a prison riot orchestrated by the Chechen thief and law, Oziz Bajukayev. Rizbek was shot dead leaving a mosque in May 2006. The OSCE sent 60 observers to monitor the election runoffs. In its initial assessment the organization found that the second round of voting showed some technical improvements over the first round. It also emphasized significant shortcomings. Election observers from the Commonwealth of Independent States CIS, disagreed. They hailed the runoff elections as well-organized, free, and fair. CIS observers also praised local authorities for showing restraint and competence in dealing with political unrest in several regions. 
this contradiction in the findings between OSCE and CIS observation teams formed the latest in a series of such contradictory findings, CCIS election observation missions. Russia supported the CIS reports and rebuked the OSCE for its findings. The New York Times reported that American funding and support from governmental and non-governmental sources, helped to pave the way for anti-AKF demonstrations by providing the means for printing literature. Kofi Annan said, The Secretary General is opposed to the use of violence and intimidation to resolve electoral and political disputes. The United Nations website said, Annan calls on all parties to apply restraint. See also Kyrgyz's Tani presidential election, 2005 Kyrgyz's Tani parliamentary election, 2005 politics of Kyrgyzstan color revolution. References External links Kyrgyzstan. Revolution revisited Eurasia Net Organization. Article Eurasia Net Organization. Article Eurasia Net Organization. Photography of Elena Skoshilo Live Journal blog page. Constitution of the Kyrgyz Republic Q&A, Kyrgyzstan's Rebellion from the Council on Foreign Relations Kyrgyz Revolution Klasne blog, Kyrgyzstan Photos Audio Slideshow about the Tulip Revolution from the Common Language Project. Resources and Jepard Z. March 2005, Georgian Advisors Stepping Forward in Bishkek. Eurasia Daily Monitor. Cohen A. March 2005, Kyrgyzstan's Tulip Revolution. The Washington Times. Cummings S. and Ryab Kavam. 2008, Situating the Tulip Revolution. Central Asian Survey 27, 34, 241 252. Cummings S. 2009, Domestic and International Perspectives on Kyrgyzstan's Tulip Revolution. Routledge, Taylor and Francis Group, New York. Finn P. 2005. Elections in Kyrgyzstan inconclusive. Most legislative races forced into runoffs. Monitors fault atmosphere. The Washington Post. Friedman E. 2009. When a democratic revolution isn't democratic or revolutionary. Journalism 10-6. 861 KLH. E. 2011. Formal Constitutions and Informal Politics, Institutions and Democratization in Post-Soviet Eurasia. World Politics 63-4. Hero D. 2009. Kyrgyzstan's Tulip Revolution. The Guardian. Hero D. April 2010. Kyrgyzstan's Second Tulip Revolution. The Guardian. Kalan Dodds K. and Orenstein M. 2009 Electoral Protests and Democratization Beyond the Colored Revolutions. Comparative Political Studies 4211, 1403 1425. Mitchell L. A. 2012 The Color Revolutions. University of Pennsylvania Press, Philadelphia. Radnitz S. 2006 What Really Happened in Kyrgyzstan? Journal of Democracy 17-132-146. Smith C. S. March 2005 U.S. helped to prepare the way for Kyrgyzstan's uprising. The New York Times. Stepanov G. 2005 Two leaders of Tulip Revolution can't share power in Kyrgyzstan. Current Digest of the Post-Soviet Press, 57-13. 345-391. Juadoro E.U.T. 2007. Rose, Orange, and Tulip. The Failed Post-Soviet Revolutions. Communist and Post-Communist Studies 43. 315-342. Walsh N. P. March 2005. Kyrgyz leader condemns protesters. The Guardian. USNM. 2005. Tulip Revolution begins in Kyrgyzstan. Current Digest of the Post Soviet Press 5712. 148.